There are many places around the world that are prohibited from the public, but very few that have not been opened for centuries or even longer. These are five creepy rooms that have been locked away. Number 5 The Padman Abhiswami Temple is a spectacular building in its own right. Even in early texts that referred to the temple, it seems to have been known to hold great wealth, wealth which it continues to hold to this day. It's most commonly mentioned outside India in relation to the treasure hidden in vaults beneath the shrine. Already, treasures worth a trillion US dollars have been discovered in the subterranean vaults, but many speculate there's more in another vault which has not yet been opened for centuries. There are six vaults beneath the temple, located close to the Sanctum Sanctorum. For thousands of years, various dynasties, both local and foreign, have offered items to the temple's deity. These have included gold idols, coins from ancient Rome, and Napoleonic France, crowns and thorns. In 2011, the Supreme Court ordered the temple to open the vaults in the interest of transparency. Five of the six vaults were opened, but one remained sealed. The sixth vault, known as Sri Pandara Nilavara in temple documents and Vault B in court documents, remains sealed. The royal family and Temple Thantri insist the vault must remain sealed until the god says otherwise. Deva Prashnan, an astrological ritual to ask God's opinion, was performed and he advised against opening the vault. The conclusion was that the treasure inside was property of the deity and should not be on display, photographed or evaluated. The royal family say it's a matter of keeping the sacredness of the place and the fact that there's a passageway leading from Vault B to the Sanctum Sanctorum, meaning that opening the vault to the public could lead to the Sanctum being disturbed. They also say that trying to force it open is dangerous. In 2012, two judges tried to pry open the iron door that kept the vault sealed for centuries. One allegedly suffered an injury which caused him to bleed profusely. Others argued the vault had already been opened through a tunnel several times in the past, though the family disputes this. Number 4 There's not one room, but an entire floor hidden in the lower levels of the famous Taj Mahal. Most people know the story of the creation of one of India's most famous landmarks. Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan commissioned the temple to be built in memory of his wife, who died giving birth to their 14th child. It was completed 17 years after her death. Her body and that of Shah Jahan after his death were placed in sarcophagi, their heads facing towards Mecca. Though millions of tourists visit the site each year, it's only been in recent years that they've been able to see the real sarcophagi, which lie a level below replicas placed on the ground floor. The lower level was out of bounds for many years and much of it still remains hidden from the public. It's been a point of controversy and many have speculated this was to cover up what lay on the site of the Taj Mahal before it was built. There were at least three passageways into this basement that were covered by officials. One, inside the building itself, was labeled with the sign telling tourists not to stop there and that photography was strictly prohibited. From the other side of the river, another of these passages could be seen. An American architect in 1974 took pictures of this passage, which was covered by a wooden door. Shortly after the pictures emerged, it was bricked up, even though access to the passage could have been halted by the door alone. While there, the American took a piece of small wood from the door and sent it to be carbon dated. It's alleged that the wood was 250 years older than the Taj Mahal itself, indicating the door at least originated long before the monument. There are 22 rooms that lie on this lower level, and many of them contain Hindu art and religious symbols. This has led many to believe the site was once a Hindu temple, and the red sandstone buildings that surround the Taj Mahal along with the lower floor are remains of this ancient structure. Number 3 The Great Sphinx of Giza is one of the most iconic images of ancient Egypt, second only to the pyramids themselves. The limestone statue is of a reclining sphinx, a mythical creature with the body of a lion and the head of an Egyptian pharaoh. 
It's believed to be around 4,500 years old and at 240 feet long and 66 feet tall, one of the largest monuments ever created. As with many aspects of ancient Egypt, there are dozens of conspiracy theories surrounding the Sphinx, some more grounded in reality than others. Everything from European racism causing the Sphinx to be defaced to aliens being responsible for its creation has been suggested, as well as its relation to the pyramids it appears to guard. But one theory may be reality. Pretty much ever since the Sphinx was rediscovered by Europeans, we've known there are passages inside the monument, particularly a passage in the Sphinx romp, likely created by treasure hunters in the ancient past. This is not the only passage. Most passages appear to have been created by early Egyptologists as they tried to unravel the mysteries, much to the frustration of modern archaeologists who were left with the predecessor's messes. The only particularly hidden chamber known lies beneath one of the Sphinx's rear paws, and it's believed to be an unfinished burial chamber. However, it's widely speculated that there's more chambers than we currently know. A self-proclaimed clairvoyant from the 1960s claimed there was a chamber hidden beneath the front paws of the Sphinx, which housed an ancient hall of records. In this hall, apparently there was evidence for the lost city of Atlantis. Speculation about what could possibly be recorded in the hall is almost as wide-ranging as the theories surrounding Egypt itself. As well as the possible evidence of Atlantis, some suspect the hall would have proof of an ancient technologically advanced society that lived in the area before the Egyptians. If the chamber was created or used by Egyptians, it could house more detailed information about Egypt and its early neighbors, including the civilizations described in the Old Testament. For decades, professional and amateur archaeologists alike have searched for this hall to no avail. It seems likely this hall doesn't exist in the form we think it does, but in searching for it, archaeologists discovered a long-lost city buried beneath waves of sand. Number 2 The mausoleum of Emperor King Shi Huang is probably the most heavily guarded resting place in the world. China's first Qing Emperor went to great lengths to ensure his final resting place would remain his final resting place, commissioning thousands of individually crafted terracotta soldiers to stand guard over his body once he died. Despite the terracotta army being on display for tourists, the chamber they guard remains sealed and it's unlikely to be excavated for the foreseeable future. Built during the late 3rd century BCE, the necropolis is a micro version of the emperor's empire and palace, complete with the terracotta bureaucrats and entertainers. Much of the necropolis has been excavated in the decades since its discovery by farmers, but the tomb at its center, buried beneath a truncated pyramid-shaped mound, remains largely undisturbed. Ancient Chinese scholars claimed the emperor had crafted an entire underground kingdom, complete with the geographical features from the world above. These included hills and most importantly, rivers. Two rivers of mercury lie beneath the surface surrounding the tomb. These are thought to represent the Yellow and Yangtze rivers, while the ancient Chinese believed mercury was the key to immortality. In reality, mercury poisoning was likely the key to Emperor Qin's death. While early European archaeologists were skeptical of these descriptions, later surveys proved that there were high levels of mercury in the soil above the emperor's tomb, and maps tracking the levels of mercury indicate that it was placed there by design. Researchers aren't 100% sure these rivers resemble the huge threat imagined when reading through the ancient writings, but it's still too dangerous to try to excavate with modern technology and will likely remain so for decades. What exactly lies within the inner chamber remains a mystery, as well as the body of Emperor King Ji Huang himself, many expected high-ranking figures from his court to have been entombed there, though whether they were dead or alive at the time is another question entirely. Nearby sites within the necropolis reveal valuable information about politics in ancient China, including royal assassinations instigated by younger brothers, as well as European influences. It's possible what lies beneath the moats of Mercury could tell a story that scholars at the time didn't want to tell. Number 1 
Ancient tombs have fascinated archaeologists from around the world, especially in areas where history was not traditionally written and the oral storytelling traditions have been. In these places, the who, what, where, and when of these tombs could remain a mystery for centuries. Even once a tomb is discovered, it's not immediately clear who it belonged to or even if it's a tomb at all. Tombs in modern London don't usually bring that much mystery to them. There are graves of unidentified people, such as the Grave of the Unknown Warrior, which is located in Westminster Abbey, but little compares to the wonders of ancient Egypt or South America. Then there is the tomb of Hannah Courtois. Hannah Courtois was born in Victorian England as Hannah Peters. Like many at the time, she had a fascination with ancient Egypt, particularly the grand structures the Egyptians had built. It was the style of the time. Not much is known about her early years, but she became the housekeeper of a wealthy merchant named John Courtois. Though she never married, she became Courtois' mistress and took his name, and rumors say she may have been the mistress of other high-ranking people as well. It shouldn't be glossed over that this was something she had in common with famed Egyptian queen Cleopatra, who had relationships with Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. When Courtois passed, Hannah inherited his estate. Some of the money she used to finance a project of her friends, John Bonami and Samuel Alfred Warner. Bonami was an Egyptologist. At the time, some Victorians believed ancient Egyptians had the power to bring people back from the dead or even travel in time itself. Bonami, who was one of the first people to translate hieroglyphs from the Valley of the Kings, is believed to have discovered these ancient secrets during his time in Egypt. Warner, on the other hand, was an inventor, often credited as the creator of the first torpedo. He was rather eccentric, claiming to have invented an invisible bomb that could be teleported a short distance. While it seems absurd, he managed to convince the British Navy to back him. The story goes, Bonami and Warner convinced Hannah to finance their project to build a time machine using the methods Bonami learned in Egypt. Instead of a tomb, the Kurtoi Mausoleum either holds the secret time machine or the machine itself. Others have suggested it's not a time machine, but a teleportation device connected to other mausoleums in London and Paris. The tomb itself includes many elements of Egyptian architecture, including a pyramid-shaped peak and mysterious hieroglyphics on the exterior walls. A large bronze door offers entry into the crypt, but the key was lost long ago, and its status as a listed monument means a new key can only be made by a heritage locksmith. Adding to the mystery, the plans for the monument have also disappeared. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to keep up to date with all of our future uploads. But I've been Ty Knotts, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.